What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Magic Online Rivals of Ixalan Draft. Flying Solo here, no Mike B today. And uh, I like Dire Fleet Daredevil a lot. A 2 1, two drops are so important in this format, and a 2 1 first striker is just great. Plus, the ability is also great using any one of their removal spells. There's also these two guys in here, which maybe one will come back. Maybe one of these three cards will come back, but I'm not going to cross my fingers. I think even if Recover comes back, I'm okay with it. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneeze in a second. <coughs> Ooh, that was. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna take Daredevil and uh, try not to look back because that's a good card. I do like a Frilled Death Spitter. Uh, it's probably the best card in the pack. I think Swift Warden is very good if you're a green deck. Martyr of Dusk is good if you're a green or if you're a white deck. I don't really have. I don't think those either of those are good enough to switch colors, especially when. Red is not really paired with either of these that well. And this can just keep us on red, and I think it's just a fine dude. If I was going to go into black, I would take Arterial Flow or Dinosaur Hunter, but Arterial Flow, we might not even have that many vampires. So I'm just going to take Despiter. That's a good dude. Hmm. Moment of Craving is pretty good. It's probably one of the best black commons in the set, so I think we're taking that. And uh, maybe we're just black red pirates first pick strider harness wow bold bold uh, suggestion there martin bold suggestion um this pack's not great another martyr of dusk miss cloak herald do we just take martyr maybe we're red white i don't know dark inquiry not great Orazka Raptor, not great. Horncrest actually could be fine. It's probably better than taking random white card that's that's better. I think we just take the Horncrest. I'm okay with it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Kind of in the middle of the road. Oh, we could add the Path of Metal if we were if we were white. I think we're, we still have no reason to not be black. We can just take Dusk Rider, Dusk Charger, or Mutiny here. Like, there's no reason to take one of these two over over the black card, especially when black and red are the uh, the pirate colors. The question is, which is better? This requires another two creatures, and you're always going to kill the smaller one or the even one. I think I just want the Dusk Charger, to be quite honest. I don't, I don't actually think Mutiny is that great of a removal spell. Swaggering Corsair, however, is pretty good. Also, Water Knot and an Admiral's Orders. Those are not bad. Scoundrel's fine. Dinosaur Hunter is fine. If either of these came back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two cards are coming back. It's going to be Forest and probably Plummet, maybe. Mm, this pack is pretty brutal. I'm just going to take this Martyr of Dusk. It's a late Martyr of Dusk. I'm not going to play Sun-Colored Raptor. Dinosaur Hunter, Vampire Revenant, or Pitiless Plunderer? I feel like I just want the 2-drop that kills any dinosaur that gets in its way. Probably better than the four drop. We can get a lot of four drops, I think. Oh, the recover came back. All right, we'll just go with that. Eh, our zero flow seems fine here. Okay, this deck actually picked up pretty well on the on the wheel. So, yeah, I don't think hunter's bad. I think two twos for two are great in this format, and um, like hunter's a, a decent one. It kills six sixes. It kills five fives. I'll just take this. Oh, the Strider Harness came back. Mm, kick a canal monitor, I guess. All right, we're gonna say Forest Plummet. Those are our, those are our guesses. Plummet's actually useful. There's gotta be a card in there that just no one wants, and I don't. I don't. Admiral's orders, really? Weird. Okay.
Galta. Of course, Galta. Oh, Fanatical Firebrand, Crown. There's nothing really great in this pack for us, which is pretty sad. Another Dinosaur Hunter, but I'd much rather have the uh, like Moment of Craving in this pack. Ugh. The green cards are fantastic, though. This guy's great, this guy's great, this guy's great. Even these two are fine. Like, this card's great and this card's fine. Like, Could be just Fanatical Firebrand? I don't like Crown in this kind of deck because it's just like, oh, you just mostly kill your two ones. Um, yeah, we could take the Galta just to not play against it, but this is a League, so it's not the same as if it was a pod. If it was a pod, I might actually be tempted to take it just because of my PTSD. I think it's one of these two, and I'm, I don't feel great about it. Not thrilled. This is a... They're both Pirates. Why am I married to either color is a good question. What's up, Melvin? Um, I want to take the Galta just because I think it's better than both of these... These col I mean, I think it's better than any of the cards in the pack is what I'm getting at here. However, now we have Sea Red, Bombard, and Shake the Foundation. Melvin, by the way, I love your stream, man. It's awesome. I'm a big fan of the... the, the, the your, I'm, I'm a fan of your puppet nature, I'll say. Um, the fact that you are a puppet, I, I'm a fan of that. And, and I don't know if that's offensive to you. I don't know if, if puppet is the, the preferred term, so let me know. I'm going to take the Bombard. Because I think that's good. I think that's a good card. Oh, I like Sadistic Sky Marcher. Oh god, did I say... Oh my god, Puppet is... Pre yeah, I'm sorry. That was pretty inconsiderate. A Muppet. I apologize. I like both of these guys. How many vampires... Like, do we have enough vampires to... <laughs> do we have enough vampires to uh, actually make this a 3-drop? Or is it possible that we don't care? Hmm. <laughs> uh, we definitely don't. I think we have one vampire. Do we have any vampires? We might have zero vampires. I think we have zero vampires, so. I'm just going to take the zealot. Maybe all future vampires will be better. Ooh, blood sun. That's not good. Ooh, moment of, clear moving moment of craving? Yes, please. All right. Oh, a sea red? That's a late sea red. Is it? I don't know if that's late. It's good, though. I'll take it. Another moment of craving? Are we the only black drafter here? What's going on? I guess we just take crown here. Mm, okay. Wow, the, the green is... Green is something here. Yeah, the triple moment's pretty good. I'm a fan. Our deck looks good. I think we need more creatures, but otherwise... Mm, wow, the two cards I was considering taking just came back, so I have no real problem here. All right, good deal. I don't know which to take. I want to take... Oh, we already have one Firebrand? Did we... That was our last pick. Did we take that over anything else? Like, did I, did I misclick? Or am I just like... Am I having a moment of confusion here? Yeah, this deck looks pretty solid. Oh, the Blood Sun came back. I'll just... I'll just take it. I'm not gonna play... I'm not gonna play one Gruesome Fate, let alone two, so... That is a, look how late this... This is a late Crashing Tide. That is not okay. Yeah, even this guy's playable. Not great, but... If I need it, I need it. Oh, boy. If I can just never open this again, that'd be great. This pack is real bad for us. These are the only two cards. Wow. That's pretty brutal. Meanwhile, there's a Pious Interdiction. I do not play Popper. I like playing with more expensive cards. Like, not expensive, like... 
not I don't want I don't want to play with them because they're expensive. I want to play with them because they're usually better, right? Like Jace the Mind Sculptor is not a popper card, so like usually cards that are more expensive have a higher power level. Yeah, this is not great. Um this pack is not great. We just take Dire Fleet Interloper, I guess. Ugh. Oh, Drowned Catacomb. Makeshift munitions. Oh, Pirate's Cutlass. That's, a, that's pretty much the exact thing we want here. Deal. Oh, Dragon Skull Summit. That's on color. Do we take that over Sure Strike? Probably. Do we take it over Brazen Buccaneers? Probably. I can see Popper having a legacy feel to it. I think it's just I spend such such money regularly on magic because it's like my it's not only like my source of income, but it's also like my my primary hobby. That I like getting use out of the, the cards like that I spent the most money on, I think. It comes down to like that. Is it Dragon Skull Summit or Brazen Buccaneers? I really don't care about Brazen Buccaneers. Fixing could be good. I'm just gonna take the fixing. Contract killing. Is that better than Skullduggery here? I wonder. Like we already have three moment of craving, but this is nice to get rid of anything. I think we think I think we want this effect. We want something like this. So I think this is fine. Tazzy and Scullywag, that is awesome, dude. I will definitely sign them if we ever run into each other. We are only on ten creatures right now, but I mean three more creatures, we got uh we got we're we're in good shape there. This this pack is amazing. We got Dream Caller, Territorial Hammer Skull, Colossal Dread Dread Maw's good. But nothing for us, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna take cobbled wings and Oh my god. Eh, just dire fleet interloper here, I guess. It is a pirate, so we can we can cutlass it up. Alright, now we're talking. It's definitely either Hoarder. It's one of these three. I don't care about Sure Strike. Skulldorgery is great, but we already have like three moments of craving. And we need more dudes. The only reason I like this guy is because he's a 4 4, but this is probably the better card for us. How many creatures do we have here? One, two, three. I think we just want another two drop. I don't think we have enough pirates to make rig crew great. I think it's actually just a two drop. I think we just want more two drops to put like pirates cutlass on or sea red. I'm gonna go with the two drop here because I feel more comfortable with it. I'm gonna take this because there's nothing else in here for us. Oh great. I think we're like one card shy. We're just gonna have to put something from the sideboard in. That's weird to me. Whatever. Ugh. Whatever. Ugh. Look at all these great blue cards. Runner Ground, Pirate's Prize, and Perilous Voyager all playable. Oh my god, just give me one give me one playable before I die. Nope, you're not gonna do it, huh? This deck seems great, which is super weird that we're like one card shy for like It's just 34. We just play a Razka Raptor, which is just super mediocre. Yeah, I mean, like, that's, it's, yeah, I think it's definitely what we have to do. It's better than Gilded Sentinel. Yeah, I mean, this deck doesn't seem bad. 13 creatures, great removal, some tricks. I'm okay with it. Pretty sure this is just straight up the deck here. We also have a recover to get back something like uh, two Dire Fleet Interlopers, not ideal, but Menace is pretty good. And, and they're pirates, so Cutlass should be able to pull some weight here. Let me just go 8 8, especially with double red. Alright, let's do it. 
<laughs> when con is moment of craving moment of clarity i don't even have that i don't even know what that is I mean, this could be a 16 land deck, but I don't really... There's no card that I'm dying to put in as a as a 24th card. So. What can you do? Seems good. I'll take it. Yeah, I can see 16 lands, definitely. Um, but I could see maybe like Tinali's crown for the for the 17th land. Especially with something like Raptor in the deck or, you know, the um, Dire Fleet Interlopers, things like that. So That was a good draw. I've never been able to see why kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch, but I have been able to see why adults like it because it's delicious. That was a good draw. Can we just get in here? Cool. Well, we're not going to wait till we have a vampire, so... You didn't play this last turn? Oh, fan Fanatical Firebrand. All right, sure. Well, this guy's keeping your hand at bay, I guess. Good deal. Hmm. Sea Red. Sure. Well, that's pretty good next turn. They have two cards in hand? Okay. Where were you last turn? Next turn we can go these two guys. That seems okay. Seeing red's a little obnoxious, but... What can you do? Interesting. No blocks. Do you have another... Th no, I was like, do you have another thing to play? That would be impressive. Really? Really? Nostrafix, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. And by that, I mean probably two days. So we're, I don't really want to take six here. So I guess we trade... And you're actually dead on board? You're at 8, you take uh, 6, 7, 8, 9 if you don't play anything. They always play something. Oh, they might actually have nothing. That's interesting. Alan, have a good night, buddy. Always leaving so soon. Let's see if you got it. Is it your last card? No. Got him. All right. Easy peasy. Do we put crown in for one land? 
maybe. I can do that. I can get behind that. Sixteen lands. Maniacs. This is not a great hand, but I can't really mulligan it. Okay, a little better. Give me a two drop, because we have five. Two dinosaur hunters, dire fleet hoarder. I guess the monkey also counts as a two brand. Two brand, two drop. Well, we didn't get one. Oh, nothing from you either, huh? Okay. How about a two or a three drop? Okay, a land. Seems good. We're just playing this guy and not feeling great about it, but... We do have a C red, which makes it a 4-3, and then we can just recover it back if it dies. So, whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. Oh, I see. Tempted to kill that guy, I'll be honest with you. I want to wait till they have less cards on their hand to flow. I kind of want to kill this because they didn't play a dinosaur, which makes me think that they might... Oh my god, he just looks so much like a monkey, that's all. Oh, here we go. Yep. Like you do. Yep. I mean, it's either this or nothing, so... They totally look like monkeys. All right, just took it, huh? Okay. Would love to have one vampire so that this thing actually triggers, but... Dual shot and swift warden. That's good information to have. Yep. Crested herd caller is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. This guy is a 2-2 two, two for 3. is not very impressive. If we draw something we can cast, this guy becomes a 5-5, five, five, which is very good. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, well, 7 mana. So if we draw anything with 3 or less that we can cast, we get a 5-5. Five, five. That's pretty good. I don't hate it. Why would I? That doesn't even make any sense. Why would you hate that? No blocks, go to eight. They do have two cards in hand, not. Oh, that's a big dude. That's that's where I draw the line, I think. 
That would have been good. See, then we could have played both. But then we, they still have a 6-6. Six, six. Well, if you're such a big fan, don't beat me again. How about that? Did you ever think about that? Tad Spaulding? I bet you didn't. Because you don't think about yourself, Tad. Just kidding. Just kidding. So if we have this and like we draw literally our two dire fleet interlopers, we can get a four four. That still needs to be crude. Yeah, I'll pass. And this hand is good. <laughs> oh, I heard you like cannons, so we put a cannon in your cannon so you can shoot cannons while you shoot cannons. Is that how that works? All right, 16 lands. I'm good. Nothing in my deck costs more than this. So let's uh, let's pull it back a little bit. Oh, a little cutie, okay. Sure. Oh my god, really you're just going to you're going to do all the exploring? Why are you guys still so small if you're such an explorer? Ha 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 ha. Gleaming barrier. Yeah, I'd put that in a trash can too. Ha <laughs> ha. Whew. I like our deck. I just don't think it has enough, like, it doesn't have enough power. Like, we can kill some things. We got some good creatures. But, like, otherwise, we don't have a lot of ways to get through. Like, there's not a lot of evasive guys. That guy's annoying. That guy's less annoying. Actually, I'm pretty sure you still have that mountain in hand. Oh, God. All right. I think we're now we're just... Let's see what happens, I guess. We have three tricks that we can utilize. Oh, nothing? Okay. All righty, then. Yeah, this guy's been constructed playable. This guy's actually... I think this guy's in, like, sideboards now. Galta would cost eight mana right now. Three, four, five, six. Hmm. You gonna bombard this guy? You totally are. No, okay. That's pretty okay. All right, so now that mountain is probably gone. We don't say the G word here anymore. Not after the incident. Four cards and you didn't play anything. Intriguing. 
That's pretty interesting. This is where they go bombard and it's just a blowout. I don't know how they wouldn't have bombarded this guy though, right? Like if they had bombarded, they probably would have killed the other guy. I'll just keep you back. Okay. Not okay. No, he did it. Got in there. Uh, the incident was when we faced two Galtas in one draft, and then the next Galta, we faced another Galta. So, three Galtas in two drafts was less than ideal. All right, now Colossal Dreadmaw comes down, and we're just in awkward shape, I guess. No Blockerinos. Yep. Oh, that guy. Okay. I wonder if I just double moment of craving that guy. No, I can single moment of craving and only take three, I guess. And I do have a feeling we're gonna, they're going to block with this guy, so... So this guy becomes a 3-2. Give me that sweet, sweet life. You mean you're surprised the dinosaur cycles rare like instead of mythic? I thought they should be mythics because they're like the big elder dragons from the they're like the big elder elder legends from the set. Like they just have a mythic feel to them. So they kind of felt mythic to me. I thought they should be mythic just for flavor reasons, but yeah, definitely for draft reasons as well. I think they're all super powerful and limited, so. Huh. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? All right, let's diversify, I guess. I think blue one is, well, I think the actual white one is the most underpowered just because it's eight mana. I don't know. Some of them are rough just because the format is so fast. I think that's a big problem. So you're probably going to block and then like shoot the crown off. Which is whatever. Gall to me once. Shame on you. Gall to me. You can't get galted again. <laughs> that is a classic. Oof. All right. First strike damage. Pump this guy. Sure. So this guy's going to die. So we will save this guy because I just think he's a better dude. All right. They're at one. Can we kill them? Someone in my Twitch, someone on the YouTube videos asked me today uh, what I would charge for stipulation drafts. Like, how much should I charge someone if they if they request a stipulation draft and like I have to do it, right? Like, what what would be the what would be a good donation amount for a stipulation draft? And then people like Tanos just just donate a hundred bucks for a stipulation draft. So, well, this is five points of damage. 
pump this guy. Yeah, this is looking okay. Okay, 16 lands still. Yeah, Taunus has been setting the bar pretty high. That's what I'm saying. All right. Do we have it? I don't know. Any trick and we're just back to square one, unfortunately. But... Okay, I think that's it. Oh, God, did we do it? One red. What is one red? Oh, just trolling. All right, cool. Good games. Sweet. The cost of a draft definitely makes sense because if I'm like if I'm like charging 10 and then we do a stipulation and lose the draft, I'm actually losing money. So that does make sense. I cannot argue with that. Plus there is the cost of the time, right? Because a draft takes a draft in leagues probably takes about two hours. So Rampaging Frostodon got banned. They literally tell you, they tell you in the article. So if you if you go check the uh, banned and restricted article that went along with those bannings, they will tell you. Um, but the the reason is basically because they it was just kind of an oppressive creature in the red deck, and uh, it came down really early. And if if energy is no longer in the format to keep the red decks in check, then they were just afraid of uh, the red decks being a little too a little too strong. I don't like this hand at all, but. This is better. Oh, you guys saw that Bob Dylan, huh? Unbelievable. I wish Magic Online didn't require me to do a window capture instead of actually just capturing the... I'm going to keep this. We're just going to Dinosaur Hunter all day. Turn 2, Dinosaur Hunter. Turn 3, Sea Red. Turn 4, Raptor. Only draft cards if people wearing hats? Ooh, that's actually a good one in the... In this block, because I think both the dino both the pirates and the vampires have hats. Does it is it have to be hats or headgear? Because like there's a lot of headgear too. Like this guy's got a bandana on, which is not a hat. But let's just win with this dinosaur hunter. How about that? No dinosaurs, no merfolk, I would assume, because merfolk aren't they're not wearing that many hats either. Really? Why are you the way that you are? Well, that helps a mulligan. You just two for one me. Oh, look, the mirror match. Four cards to one card. We have one more land and that's it, so. Now we do not have one more land. Let's get 4-4 four, four Rhino. 4-4 four, four Dinosaur. Triceratops. That is not it. Okay. A little, a little dumpling and a... And, oh, come on, lands. I'm going to keep playing lands because we do have cards that are uh, requiring the city's blessing, so... So now if we draw a charger, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this will be nine, and the charger will be ten, so kind of want to look forward to the future there. What do you think about the new way of giving money to Hasbro Magic Arena? Um, I haven't played much arena. I mean I was in the alpha and I'm also in the beta. But like I, I'm not a big fan of like beta testing your product. Like if I want to play Magic, like, right now, there are better ways to play Magic. I think it's, like, this. Magic Online, real-life Magic. So, like, if my goal is to play Magic, I'll just play it on one of these, and I can actually stream it, or I can actually play in a live event and get something out of that. And, like, considering the amount of time I have to spend on, like, playing games, because I, I do it all the time, um... It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's it's harder for me to justify like spending my time on an unfinished like magic online 
simulation, right? And it's that's not a, that's not a knock against the against my MTG Arena at all. Like that's no no reflection on that at all. It's just saying that like it is still a beta, so you know it's not as polished. I can't build all the decks that I want to build. So other than that, if you're asking for my impression of it, um, I think it's a good idea. I hopefully it is going to be great. Uh, hard to say more than that because of like NDA reasons and things like that, but. They have one card in hand. Is this is this a Razka Raptor gonna get the job done? Let's play this guy pre-combat. Right. It, once I'm able to stream it, I will play it a ton. I'm sure. But that was actually a great draw. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Now it's in my head. Little dumpling. Going to the graveyard. Yeah, do you have a dinosaur in your hand? What if you had a dinosaur in your hand? You don't. Maybe you do. You still could, I guess. <laughs> oh, let's keep that on top. That's a good one. I can't imagine your last card's a dinosaur and you didn't play it. Like, unless you're just saying, I'm going to block. Oh, you are going to. Okay, you're just planning on. Sure. That's interesting because these guys are going to trade. And these guys are going to trade. No, they wouldn't trade. This guy would just die. Okay. Trade then? Sure. Our cutlass is looking a little bit better now. Martyr of Dusk. Well, we kill everything here. Get in there. Red zone it. Okay. You go to two? Yeesh. Well, you're in top deck city now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... You can't have two permanents here unless you drew. Oh, because of the Luminous Bonds. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we just kill both your guys and then we play another one. That's really all we can do at this point. And then, like, you have no guys and you're at three, so. Um... Put it on top. Why did we keep that on top? I don't know. I just realized I have no cards in hand and they're just going to play whatever they draw. So I thought actually we had a vampire because I remember having the uh, Dusk Knight, Le Dusk Legion Zealot. So I was like, oh, we're just going to make them discard or uh, make them lose two. We gain two. So just miscalculated there. We're going to take out the land like we do. Actually, it was a mountain, I believe. And we'll bring in the crown. Like, real talk, I think uh, Hearthstone's UI is one of my favorite parts of it. It's, um, like, I love the sound effects. I love all the voice actor, the voice actions. I love the animations. I love the cool effects that happen. Like, that's one of the funnest things about it because it feels less like a rigid card game and more like uh, an animated, like, adventure that you're playing. And I think that's super cool. So, I think if... MTG Arena can emulate that. I think it's a great addition to the the magic experience. My biggest problem is uh, when I was playing it before, and I wrote an article about this on PC Gamer, uh, it's a little overwhelming right now. Like, there are sound effects everywhere to the extent where you just don't, don't even know where they're coming from. That was a good draw. You might say that was the greatest of draws. The greatest of draws. Oh, I constantly repeat Hearthstone Battle Cries. They are wonderful. That was actually a great draw. If we can hit a land here, I'm... Like, next turn anyway. I'm very okay with it. Ugh. 
Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. I'm in charge now. Case, what's going on, buddy? Oh, I see. That's real mature. You're basically just a child. Just a savage, stomping child. How long can this go on? Yeah, they're all pretty good. I'm just gonna kill this guy now because I don't feel like any kind of tricks or like a hunt the week next turn or something. So. We could have played Raptor into Horncrest if we drew a land, but I don't really feel like having 3 4 territorial hammer, hammer skull on the board when they only have two cards in hand, so. I totally bombarded that little cutie. Unfortunate. Three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like it's just this guy. Like if we draw, the, if we play this guy next turn, we can uh, still have moment of craving up. But if they actually, I think we're just playing this guy because I don't think you care about moment of craving. If they have like luminous bonds, and they put it on this guy, we can still just attack and have this this better guy. So. Golden Guardian. Okay. Okay. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. This is a good combo because they fight here. And then they just let this guy die. Uh, fight some of the creature control. When it dies, this turn returns the battlefield transformed. Yeah, that's that's pretty busted. I think I just double moment of craving this guy, to be quite honest. I, I think we're in a spot where we have to do that. Oh, I don't think we I think we messed up though, because they just fight in response, right? And at no point does it die. Oh, that's rough. Oh, we didn't okay, we think I think we got away with it. Yeah, in response to this, we're just gonna moment of craving. Like, it sucks, but like they have one card, and this is so much better than like letting them if we moan on this guy it's still an 0-1 we have to do it before this resolves because otherwise they just get to like otherwise the ability triggers when it dies so we have to make sure Yeah, that dude flipping is just insane. Four mana for making a four four every single turn. Oh god, I'd vomit. All right, not great. Oh, luminous bonds. Yeah, you got to keep that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be nine. You just play land here. Well, it doesn't matter because you're drawing a luminous bonds next turn, so you can just go land and. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to put it on this guy, which is fine, because then we still have Dusk Charger. And actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 10. So, reasonable. I don't know what your last card is, but... 3, 4, take 6, go to 6, oof. Oof. Old Snubby. Yep. All right, so they have no cards in hand, which is nice. That was an aggressive attack there. I guess you're not blocking either of these guys, which is a thing. The city's blessing. Is your draw better than 5-5? Five, five? 
because this guy's lethal, so you have to block him with one of your guys. So you block here, you block here, you take three, go to one, these guys trade, You ha and we have three, four, and five, five on board. That seems good. Okay. Not the worst draw. It, it does help you block these two, but like you can also, you can't shove all three in front of this guy, which is good. Oh, that's pretty okay. I was actually I was actually probably one of the better draws we could have had here. So this guy trades with everything or just bounces, which is fine. Yeah, this is such a good card. This card's great in this format. It's it's always draw two, and like the creatures are so relevant. Double blocking here, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll just get rid of 3-3. Three, three. One, two, three. I guess we're getting 3-4 back. It's just better than 4-4, four, four, or 3-3, three, three, rather. It's been waiting for you. Three lethal dudes, you drew one card. Good games. This deck has been uh, pretty solid. I definitely feel like I'm getting a better grasp on this format as we go, so that's pretty good. I may have been. <laughs> Nice. Good times, good times. All right, sweet. All right, let's see if we can 3 out this bad boy. I think the two-color pirate decks are also very good. I think if you can make three colors work, it just has, it obviously has access to better tricks. What's up, Vitality? But, um, like, if you can... I mean, if you can get two colors, it's. I think it, I think they can be just as strong. Either like blue, red, blue, black, or black, red. They're all pretty good. What up, John Graham Doe? I'm going to play first. I'm going to keep this hand. I don't love the fact that we have Swaggering Corsair with no other dudes, but I also... Like, we have five different cards we can draw to play on turn two. Four? Four or five? Somewhere around there? I think five. That was not one of them. That was a mountain. So hopefully we'll just draw a different three drop. We can play that. The next turn we can play... Corsair? We did not. Alright, I guess we're just playing Corsair here. Not my finest moment, but Sea Red into Buccaneers Bravada, that could win the game, I guess. That was actually pretty good. Nah, I guess we can hold this up. It doesn't matter. Like, but this is 10 damage if they ever don't block it, so. Hmm. That's a vampire. That was actually a good draw. Can you not uh, kill my guy? Okay, you didn't. That's good. I'm a fan. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next turn, Arterial Flow with Bravado is lethal, so that's actually pretty good if uh, if we can make it happen, so. I doubt it, though. 
I think they're going to, yep, that's what I figured they were going to do. <sighs> that's unfortunate. Not only, not only less lethal, but Dusk Charger does not uh, get to do a thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're like pretty far away. Do the plus two, plus two? Oh, God. Come on. Just over. Not even deal with it. Yep, Hunt the Week into that card was just not great. Uh, again, we're going to take a mountain. Bring in the crown. Oh, God. Hunt the Week. Oh, uh, late night streams have been a thing for a bit. I will play first. Oh, God, this hand is brutal. We're going to ship this hand. This hand is much better. Keep it. Mm, bottom you. I like that we can get a Hunt the Week at some point. That's pretty cool. Uh, with this guy. Yeah, that's true. It's only it's only late for like European and uh, East Coast people. <sighs> well, this is awkward. Well then. Fenadroid, where are you? Two hours ahead. Where are you that's two hours ahead? Oh, Demov. Greetings. In, in Europe. Somewhere. Uh, I guess we're not attacking here. Yeah, 3.22 a.m. is a weird time. That's an interesting time to be. Oh, tell the, tell the Netherlands I said good morning. All of them. I want you to tell all of them. No blocks, huh? Okay. I guess you just pass here. Argentina. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. I'm afraid of this. Yeah, I'm trying to think if Argentina is, is... Are they two hours ahead? That doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, 3.24 a.m. in Argentina. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, they're two hours ahead. That's interesting. Huh. Well, I'll be. Um, God, do you have it? Let's find out. Yeah, of course, they always have it, don't they? Okay, sure. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'm just going to make you discard two cards. 
I don't really want to play Daredevil and Pounce. Like, I'd rather get the value out of Daredevil than make, just play it as a 2-1 when they have an 0-3 and a 2-3. That just makes no sense. Sure. That doesn't seem great, but... I feel like we're in really bad shape, but I actually like Daredevil into Queens. It's pretty good. I guess I know the way. They have two cards. We have two cards. Sure. Interesting. Uh, I guess we attack here. And then they just... Yeah, that's actually fine. We'll attack here. They're just going to take two, I imagine. Yeah. 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 Aggressive. Block. Tanos with the six month sub. Thank you so much, man. To the surprise of no one, I'm sure. All right, this is a lot of cards you're drawing here. Can't help but uh, realize that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna play this because if we draw a Dusk Charger, I just wanna be able to play it without having to play something else. I guess we could have played the land then, but it doesn't really do anything in our hand. I guess it allows us to bluff one more card. One, two, three, five, six, seven. We have nine. Ooh. Can't really do anything about that. Bombard would be great. Mountain, also pretty good. Didn't didn't think about that. Hi, hi, hi. Yep, there it is. Alright, three three now. Yeah, I think this match is pretty much over. They're just a little more aggressive than we are, and they have more tricks than we do, so. Like, we're going to have to draw some big dudes. I can definitely see not having GPs in the place you live uh, to be a definite drain on your inspiration. Like, that's totally true. Like... If you don't have, like, this is, a, this is way too many lands. We have a 16 land deck. We've drawn eight lands and five, six, seven, eight spells. So, 16 lands, 24 cards, equal numbers of lands and spells. Not great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like it's even, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, go to three. Yep. So Bombard is still good. Puts us to one, and we can kill both of the Flyers if we get it. Any black, any, any removal spell. Yep. That's pretty much dead. Yep. All right. I mean, we can attack for one, go to two, but then they still have two Flyers in the air, so that doesn't do anything for us. All right. Well, I think this deck had a good run. I'm okay with it. And uh, our opponent just had a little more evasion than we did, so... Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't done so, please feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time, and thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it.